chapter 5. And you, son of man, take a sharp sword, take it as a barber's razor, and pass it over your head and your beard, then take scales to weigh and divide the hair. You shall burn with fire one-third of the midst of the city when the days of the siege are finished. Then you shall take one-third and strike around it with the sword, and one-third you shall scatter in the wind. I will draw out a sword after them. You shall also take a small number of them and bind them in the edge of your garment. Then take some of them again and throw them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire. From there a fire will go out into all the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, This is Jerusalem. I have set her in the midst of the nations and the countries all around her. She has rebelled against my judgments by doing wickedness more than the nations and against my statutes more than the countries that are all around her. For they have refused my judgments, and they have not walked in my statutes. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Because you have multiplied disobedience more than the nations that are all around you, have not walked in my statutes, nor kept my judgments, nor even done according to the judgments of the nations that are all around you, therefore, thus says the Lord God, Indeed I, even I, am against you, and will execute judgments in your midst in the sight of the nations. And I will do among you what I have never done, and the like of which I will never do again, because of all your abominations. Therefore fathers shall eat their sons in your midst, and sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgments among you, and all of you who remain I will scatter to all the winds. Therefore as I live, says the Lord God, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your detestable things, and with all your abominations, therefore I will also diminish you. My eye will not spare, nor will I have any pity. One-third of you shall die of the pestilence, and be consumed with famine in your midst, and one-third shall fall by the sword all around you, and I will scatter another third to all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thus shall my anger be spent, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be avenged, and they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal, when I have spent my fury upon them. Moreover, I will make you a waste and a reproach among the nations that are all around you, in the sight of all who pass by. So it shall be a reproach, a taunt, a lesson, and an astonishment to the nations that are all around you, when I execute judgments among you in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, have spoken. When I send against them the terrible arrows of famine which shall be for destruction, which I will send to destroy you, I will increase the famine upon you and cut off your supply of bread. So I will send against you famine and wild beasts, and they will bereave you. Pestilence and blood shall pass through you, and I will bring the sword against you. I, the Lord, have spoken.